Council Person Zaversa? Here. Liang? Here. Oh? Here. McMorrow? Here. Park? Here. Contavo? Here. For attorney? Here. Superintendent of DPW? Here. And Municipal Clerk? Okay. Uh, please join me in wishing Councilman Contavo a happy birthday today. Please rise for, for the flag salute, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing. Um, I'd like to ask everyone to uh, join us in a moment of silent for uh, Sergeant uh, Atien Ashadi. He was uh, a member of this police department, retired uh, in 2011, and uh, he was a great guy, and uh, anybody that knew him really loved him. So uh, if you could just sort of join us in a moment of silence uh, for Sergeant Ashadi. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, fact, today was uh, the, the funeral for Sergeant uh, Ashadi down in Texas. I know some of our current and retired officers went down, and I uh, provided the family with a proclamation, and I'll read it uh, into the record right now. Whereas Sergeant Etienne, Etienne Ashadi grew up in Englewood Cliffs and enjoyed sports, especially the New York Giants and the New Jersey Devils. And whereas Sergeant Etienne was sworn in as a patrolman in the Borough of Englewood Cliffs in 1988, and whereas Sergeant Urshadi was promoted to Sergeant in 2004, and is remembered fondly as an individual who fostered an environment of camaraderie and high morale. And whereas Sergeant Urshadi's service record to the Borough was impeccable, and he maintained the professional image in which the police department prides itself. And whereas Sergeant Urshadi was extremely popular among the ranks during his tenure and retired from the borough in 2012 after 20 years of service. And now, therefore, be it resolved that the mayor and council of the borough of Englewood Cliffs are very appreciative and will always remember Sergeant Urshadi for his 20 years of outstanding and meritorious service to the residents of the borough of Englewood Cliff. Thank you. And I'd also like to have a moment of silence for a resident who passed away uh, two weeks ago, uh, Ms. Rose Provada. Thank you. Okay, uh, next up on our agenda are the minutes of the caucus and regular meeting of November 10th, 2016. Uh, if all council members have reviewed those, I'd like a motion to accept them and approve them. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Our, our correspondence this evening is a letter from the Sisters of St. Joseph of Peace. And uh, I'd like to now turn to our finance chairman, Councilman Mark Park, to review the claims for the period November 11th, 2016 to December 14th, 2016. Uh, yes, all the council of finance chair members give you all the checks and uh, we move to pay them all, no question about it, this month. Yes. Okay. I'd like to have a second to the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We'll have a roll call for that. Thank you. Council Persons Aversa? Yes. Liang? Yes. O? Abstain. McMorrow? Yes. Park? Yes. Gonzalo? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Uh, something I should have done earlier, I see uh, Council Elect uh, Ellen Park uh, is present here tonight, and is William uh, Wu. Uh, I'd like for you to join us at 
the table right here. It's your transition up to, uh, to the dais. So if, if you want, just feel free to come up here and sit with us. <laughs> so welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sit there. Okay. There's there's no official work for you to do. So. Okay. Um, have all the council members reviewed the department head reports that were submitted? If so, can I have a motion to accept them? Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Can I have a motion to open the meeting up to the public, please? Second. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask for members of the public to come up to the microphone, state your name and home address. Uh, everybody will have three minutes to speak on whatever is on your mind, and um, the borough clerk will keep the time. Is there anyone from the public who wishes to be heard? I do. I will take less than three minutes. As you know, I am Chris Neidenberg, 115 Gregory Avenue, State, New Jersey. But I had a very vested interest in caring about covering this community for the four years that I was here. Okay. Now, it is clear to me that on September 12, 2016, I was terminated by the Northern Valley Press after Councilwoman McMorrow's attorney, Anthony Bocci, called to complain about an inaccuracy, and I admit it was my fault, in an article about Ms. McMorrow's husband. Now, I just want to say that I do feel that given all of my efforts here, for the four years that I was here, I deserved better, okay? And I don't even know who above the editor decided to terminate me. But it would, I don't even know who the publisher is. I never knew, never met him. But if anybody, Mrs. McMorrow's attorney, Mr. and Mrs. McMorrow had any discussions with these people, and I was kept in the dark for three weeks, okay? And, uh, you know, I was first told that I could survive, you know, and that everything would be fine. And then all of a sudden, uh, on October 3rd, after waiting, and I lost two weeks pay, and I lost almost $200 for stories I didn't get paid for, I was told that I was fine. So, Mrs. McMorrow, I apologize for the error that I made, okay? I tried very hard for the four years that I was here to give your party and your side the best possible coverage. And I feel I deserve better. I feel that it could have been resolved. It looked like it was going to be resolved in a much more amicable way. But your attorney, Mr. Bochy, seemed to hold us hostage here for like three weeks negotiating some kind of retraction. And you got your retraction, but a lot of the retraction was false. Because I never said in the article on the motion with Mr. Tracy, I never said that he attacked Mr. Tracy because of his sexual orientation. I said that he didn't. Okay, so I should have gotten, and I will finish up here, and then you could respond, and you don't have to respond, and I thank you for letting me speak. But I feel that I should have gotten a better deal from you. I feel that it could have been resolved in a much more amicable way. Uh, knowing that you constantly were calling me for the prior three years, and you know you did. Every, you wanted me everywhere, every time. I work my heart out to do the best for this town, and I deserve better than what I got. But I will go on, and I will prevail, believe me. I, I may be down for a moment, but I'm not out. Because fortunately, I am riding somewhere else. I'm not going to mention the people who I think have a lot more power and clout than the Northern Valley Press. So that's what I want to say. Thank you, Mayor, okay, and thank you for listening to me, okay? I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, just before we continue, there's, um, we, we have to keep the front door there uh, clear of any obstacles, including tripods. So can, can you move that in or out or out of the doorway? Thank you. Is there anyone else from the public who wishes to be heard? Yes, sir. Dave DiGregorio, 165 Charlotte Place. 
Uh, I just heard Chris speak, and it uh, really is shocking that something like this would happen. It's really disgusting that someone would use and bully a person. It shows the type of character of this person. Is this character miserable? Is this character of this person disgusting? To take a person of the press and intimidate them? I think it's horrible. It speaks for itself. The hard work that Chris put in and made a, an honest mistake, I think it's disgusting. That person should be ashamed of themselves. Thank you. Is there anyone else from the public that wishes to be heard? Yes, sir. Mike Kochner, 11 Fifth Street, uh, January of this year. I was at, I think, my first council meeting a long time. Asked about the developments. I live on an unpaved road. I was told by this mayor and council that you guys were starting to take action, look into it. I see there's something happening tonight, but I'm still not aware of anything. So can you give me some sort of an update on what's going on with the street? Uh, I'll let the borough council address that. Please, thank you. Well, um, a settlement has been reached. Um, I can't release the, the actual details until it's signed by both sides. But a settlement has been reached whereby certain funds are going to be placed into an escrow account that will go towards repairing all of Fifth Street. So there is a repair there, plan? There, that, that's there what is I'm asking. a okay. plan in progress. Any yes. ETA on, I mean, you're signing a settlement tonight, but is this going to happen in the year of 2017? The, is it, the repairs? Be, yes. I, I don't know about the repairs. Okay. So nothing, nothing further beyond this settlement tonight? And then I have to come back we to We've taken it. positive steps to move forward to get okay. everything taken care of. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there anyone else from the public who wishes to be heard? Yes. <coughs> Karen Geiger, 270 Alfred Street. Um, first of all, I want to chastise um, each of the members of the council. This is the third meeting at which the mayor has limited public input to three minutes, suspending Robert's rules of order. And I'm embarrassed for all of you that none of you have spoken out and allowed the public to speak um, without that restriction. My comments are very simple. Um, first of all, at the last meeting, you uh, tried to pass a bill that um, would have allowed $295,000 to be spent this year, uh, next year uh, for an emergency appropriation. I asked for the supporting documentation for this and was unable to get it. Um, I also asked for all of the emails that related to this request, and I did receive those. Mr. Mayor, when you, uh, when you proposed the budget for adoption in March, at the end of March, you said, quote, unquote, that there was a $362,000 tax liability, tax refund liability for 2015 that had to be paid for in 2016. I've taken care of it. Those were your words on tape. Well, much to my surprise, actually not to my surprise, it seems you didn't take care of it. You did just what you criticized your predecessor of doing. You made an emergency appropriation after the budget was adopted, not including those funds, and are pushing the expenses into next year. So I want to know how you took care of it by diluting the residents and diluting everybody in town about the great tax savings that you put forward when you knew at that time that you had 362,000, actually 295 at this point, of bills that had to be paid for tax settlements and didn't fund it when you knew they were there. You're not the, nature, no, the nature of public portion is you get to say whatever you want 
And you don't get to ask me questions unless I want you to. I right understand. now, I don't want you to. Okay, so we're okay. going to go Could on. Could you know what? We okay. did this all year, so keep going. You have 33 seconds left. 33 Tiger. seconds. Does anybody yield time to me? I do. I do. I do. No yielding. Thank There's you. No yielding. No yielding. Okay, Is the no council yielding. authorizing no yielding, suspending Robert's no yielding. rules? Yes. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to um, have an audience yield their time to Ms. Geiger. Let's take a vote. What's the motion? Motion to have another resident yield their time to Ms. Geiger to speak more. If it's limited to one. Limited to one other resident. Limited to one other resident. To wait. You have motion as long as it's limited to one resident being permitted to yield their time. That's that's not what Robert Rule said, and that's not what she said. But she's a lawyer. Is that right? No, I mean, that's what Robert what is Rule said. legal opinion on that? You can only yield one, one you, resident. You can, you can limit the time of speakers. You can limit the time of speakers by limiting the number of residents who can yield, who can provide their time. But it's the council that does so, that, not the mayor. I, I'm not saying that. It's I'm, the council. I'm the council vote. I actually brought a Bible, too, if you want to swear to what you're saying from here on. You know, and that hasn't I'm, been done very much, so yeah. Don't stifle. I'm, well... Councilwoman O's motion is on the order. table. I'll be ordering myself. You can okay, order you, you, you cannot speak out of turn, sir. I'd like to uh, clarify my motion. Um, I'd like to have a motion to have a resident yield their time to another resident so that they could speak um, more than three minutes. And I, I don't want any limitations as to how many people that, you know, uh, we, we have to live in. So in other words, a speaker, because it may not be a resident. Yes, it can speak. Another speaker, it'll gain time to huh? another speaker without any limitations as to how many. Okay, well, I, I would oppose that, that motion, but. Uh, no, you okay. can't. We, there's I would a second. Oppose, I'd like a motion for discussion for a minute. Um, can you use the microphone? I, can, I don't need a microphone. I make a motion for discussion. Um, I, I make a motion for discussion. I think there is a motion that was second, so we have to take a roll call. Okay, we're not going to speak out of turn, okay? You've all done that. We're being very tolerant. Ms. Geiger is up. She wants, we've already spent more than six minutes trying to deal with this issue. I don't care how much time you spend. I'm here. Okay, let's have a vote. Uh, I, I recommend a no vote, but you guys vote. Uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, let me uh, let me let me try to clear my mind before I vote something. I just asked to do that, but I was not <laughs> right. Right. Um, can you just repeat? Okay, yeah. so let me repeat it for you. Yeah. Okay. There is a motion from Councilwoman O for a a person from the public to yield their time to the current speaker. That being said. The current speaker has three minutes, and the person yielding would yield their three minutes, totaling for six minutes to speak. Correct? No. no. Without, without, limitation. Limitation. Without, without limitation. Without limitation. It could be more than one speaker yielding their time. So the 50 so I want to understand what we're voting on. So the 50 people yield it, and then how do we know which 50 people yielded it, and then how do we keep track of how many minutes we have? Yeah. Shouldn't be that hard to track. Ms. Geiger, let me ask you a question. How much more time do you need? I don't know. I haven't practiced my questions ahead of time. Okay, good. So let's have a vote. Um, I, again, I recommend a no vote, but you guys vote. I'll be guided by what you decide. Mayor, would also, you uh, what is our legal uh, side of the position? Uh, is it common practice? Uh, this is just a one-off. Oh, this is other, other, munici oh, yeah. other municipalities limit the time that their speakers can speak. Other municipalities permit yielding. Other speakers do. Other municipalities do not limit. It, it's up to the municipality. It's up to the governing body. This this governing body is making a statement right now. So there's a, there's a motion. Okay, let's have a vote. Roll call. Okay. Councilperson Zaversa for, okay. Liang? Yes. Oh? Yes. 
McMorrow? Yes. Park? No. Consalvo? No. Okay. We have four yeses, Mayor. <laughs> Okay, so is that I just would like to make a comment. I, I'm asking this to be reasonable. Okay. I, I'm asking this to be reasonable. I That's never all. had any intention of not being That's reasonable. reasonable. <laughs> no, no, I wanted to be able to have a comment. Uh, then uh, I have another question. Technical wise, how can we calculate the time to accumulate the time? So just to show the one to Again, questions. Um, from the legal bills, I noticed from the legal bills submitted by Dorsey and Semerau for last month, actually for the month ending October 31st, I noticed that about a thousand dollars had been incurred in legal fees dealing with. Um, trying to um, decide whether the Oprah request submitted by the Bergen Record to the to the mayor and to the borough should be fulfilled. A thousand dollars for the Bergen Record. I have asked for in November 11th. I asked for all memos relating to that and was told, and I referenced the specific bill you had done, and I was told that my request was too broad. So a week later, I submitted another request, which itemized in eight specific parts all of the um, documents that I requested relating to the Bergen Record um, request. I was told this afternoon, I got a response that said, pursuant to your request, your records will be ready and emailed to you. On Friday, December 23rd, the information requested needs to be reviewed by our borough attorney who is on vacation. Well, number one, Oprah, as I understand it, requires that the response be done within seven business days. That's not seven business days to notify me and then tell me that I'm going to get it two weeks later. Number two, Dawn, it appears that you're here, so obviously you're not on vacation. So I want to know why this borough is not releasing information that is public, because information from the Bergen Record requesting documents is not privileged and neither is the response from our attorney to the Bergen record about those documents. Thank you. I guess no response again. No okay. Response. We're uh, moving right we're, along. We're, uh, what are the minutes? <laughs> what? The minutes we have now. It's been two minutes and thirty seconds. She's okay. The so lands and lands the bill. Um I got another copy. The first copy was not redacted. The second one was. And the items that were redacted were Ms. McMorrow's and Mr. Cranjack's names from the bills, which are very strange because those are not privileged. If a member of the mayor and council meets with an attorney, the fact that they met with them has no privilege. And I want to know why. Lanza and Lanza, according to your own resolution, is supposed to be signing the contract. And as of close of business yesterday, I was told there was no contract yet. When is this contract going to be signed so we in the public can see the terms of their retention? I guess once again, no answer. What else is new? Mura, you have a Mura suit on your agenda for executive session. I assume that that suit is independent of the action that is pending now for six months. I'd like to know when this mayor and council is going to deal with Judge Gita's recommendations on Mura. No answer again? Okay, we keep moving. Internal affairs. The lands and lands of bill that was submitted, the one in which Ms. McMahon and Mr. Cranjack were mentioned, includes 
various items totaling almost $8,000 in billing relating to internal affairs investigations. Anyone who knows anything about internal affairs in the police department or internal affairs any place knows that those affairs are restricted to the police department. So I want to know on what authority the attorney and Carol, whose husband at the time was still a member of the police department, are dealing with internal affairs of the police department. I'm going to respond as I did the last time, Ms. Steiger, because you asked this question once before, and I, I understand politically you just want to get up there and continually try and make me look bad, but I'm going to respond the same way that I did you the last time. I did not meet with Mr. Lanza and discuss anything about internal affairs. This is the second time I'm telling you. Well, I discussed Morrow Road. I'm not going to tell you that again. Well, Ms. Okay? Ms. McMorrow, that's fine. But the bills that they submitted for that month have absolutely that. nothing on Morrow Road. Every item on that bill has to do with internal affairs no, of the police. Yes, 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 it does. No, I have, do I have to pull out the bill? No, it was not. And perhaps you should pull out the bill because I have it in my folder. So I don't have it with me. Yes, it does. It says internal affairs. No, it doesn't. Excuse me. May I get the bill? Or would you like to pull it out? Yourselves. You've now been over eight minutes. Have no fear. It really doesn't matter because you're not going to answer it. And don't put words in my mouth, Carol, because you're wrong. No, I'm not wrong. Yes, you are. No, I am not wrong. Okay. Thank you. Uh, anybody else wishing to be heard? Yes, Ms. Eastwood. Somebody changed that bill. was a problem. Lauren Eastwood, Four Willow Drive. On the uh, resolution for closed session this evening, we have attorney client privilege, Fifth Street settlement. Uh, earlier this year, Councilwoman O recused on Fifth Street because she had a conflict. Uh, Councilwoman O, could you explain to me why you were in closed session tonight? I was not she recused herself from that, that discussion. Oh, oh. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> no, she did. Um, That's fine. She she did recuse herself. Okay. Thanks. Is there anybody else? Okay. Yes. Sorry. I'm not on the page, it's, uh... Ellen Park, 116 Pershing Road. Um, I just have a question regarding the agendas, because I, I know they're, uh, they go online. Um, I was wondering if, you know, is there a deadline? Like, is it supposed to be on Monday, we meet on Wednesday or Tuesday? Friday. It, it's supposed to be Friday. Is that is it supposed to be on Friday? Yeah. It, okay. Each yeah. so, so we had um, we had a few pending matters that we are negotiating uh, right up to the wire, and uh, that's why it was a little delayed this time. Okay, but right. normally it's supposed to be on a, well, on a Friday there's before? There's no rule, but we try to get it out by Friday. Okay. Yeah. Um, actually I actually had a different question. <laughs> I don't know if I can ask it, so I'll just... Oh, wait. Um, do, you, do you need to well, consult somebody? Yeah, give me one second. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you want to call Joe Parisi too? Okay. All, right. All right. Thank you. All right, good. Anybody else? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hello, Maria Valari, 45 Jane Drive. You know, I sit here, I've been sitting here now, meeting after meeting, and I have to tell you, I, I am speechless <laughs> with what's going on in this place. I just want to remind everyone sitting back here that while the previous mayor, Joe Parisi, was sitting up there, it was a three-minute and Mr. Aversa kept the time, and he had a quacking clock that let us know that our time was up. And I don't ever remember berating the mayor 
the way these people do to you guys week after week and I am insulted and ashamed of some of the people that live in this town and they should think about what they're doing. They laugh at residents that come well, up here. Minute. They're talking right now. Of course can, can they're you, talking can you just because stop they talking? have no respect Seriously, just stop for talking. anybody. Can you do that? It's not circle second grade. Just stop talking. Let the woman speak. No. Why not? We did. Now we're telling them to shut up, all right? Exactly. This oh is, my God! Yeah, right. This is ridiculous. This is this is an issue that I have. That I have with individuals who, when they have been told that they are not in power, they this is how they behave. I've no. never seen. I've never seen this coming from anybody no. else but that, I mean, and I'm I'm disgusted with it. Right. And I'm sorry that you guys have to put up with it. And I think you're doing a wonderful Thank job. You. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, once again, I'd like to say, if you really want to be relevant in this town, really want to be relevant, do good things for the town, okay? Yay. Be productive. Hey, man. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Marie, I was always in favor of time con uh, constraints, we'll call it, and I still am, but I, we've always allowed yielding of time from other people. So I don't we never had that in. We, we, we never had we that. Never, we, never said, okay. we never said you could not yield time to other people. We never, no, we, we, didn't. Never said, we, never we never said that. So that, that's, I'm all in favor of time constraints, and I really am. I think we're going to recommend it people. Yes. Because I believe we should allow us to be yield people, yield time. Okay, well, let, let's be productive here. Anybody else wishing to be heard? Okay, I don't see anyone. I have a motion to close the public portion. Thank you. Mayor, uh, we're closing. I just like to make a comment. Um, sure. Okay, to uh, the Senate of Oregon, to Mr. D. Gregorio, and uh, to the public. Um, to Mr. Neidenberg and to Mr. D. Gregorio, um, you know, Mr. Neidenberg, I'm very sorry what happened to you. Um, Mr. Bacci, when he contacted your editor, contacted on behalf of his client, which was the former deputy chief. What happened to you was the decision of your editor and whoever else was working with him. You have been provided emails showing that we had nothing to do with what happened to you. You know you've received them, and they exist. So I'm sorry that you feel this way, and you are continually emailing me, all my friends, people in town, and, they're defamatory, and they are defamatory statements about, yes, about myself and about the mayor. Okay. Mr. D. Gregorio, well, just because someone gets up and says something does not make it that, factual. Just, just for the record, folks, I, I don't care what you say about me. I'm doing the right thing right. at all times. I'm working hard for this borough. You say whatever you want, howl at the moon. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, uh, and you'll get tired of doing what you're doing, okay? And then, the then join me. Be yeah. productive, okay? Come on. For the record, Mr. Neidenberg's uh, statements are all false. No, oh, okay. All right. So, uh, next items on the agenda are the resolutions uh, 2016 for consent agenda. Um, I think we're adding one. Yes, Mayor. <clears throat> A resolution of the Borough of Inglewood Cliffs in the County of Bergen and State of New Jersey authorizing the dismissal of all charges as to Officer Scott Mura. Whereas six certain charges were issued in 2015 as to Officer Scott Mura, and whereas following an appeal of the, these charges, a hearing was conducted. Whereas the mayor and council were apprised as to the record of appeal and relevant information, and now therefore be it resolved that the mayor and borough council have reviewed and discussed the matter, all pertinent facts and information, and have decided to dismiss to dismissal of all charges as to Officer Scott Muro. Thank you. Can I have um, a consent agenda read, Madam Clerk? Okay. Uh, can I have the floor for a minute, Mayor? Like uh, I don't know what the order no, is. We're, not, we're, we're voting. That's the consent agenda. What's that? I just said it's a consent agenda. It's a consent agenda, so can you just read through them? What do we call them the new... Um, what number is uh, it? It's 162. Right. Yes, correct. 162 and you're in the mountain. Resolutions on for consent agenda. 155, authorize adoption of personnel manual. 156, authorization to hire winter basketball coordinator for 2017. 
157. Transfer a plenary license 0216-33003-007, person to person, place to place. 158, authorization to transfer budget appropriations. 159, emergency appropriation of tax appeals. 160, approved designation of an acting municipal court administrator. 161, authorized execution of Fifth Street settlement. And we added 162 uh, resolution of the borough of Ingoa Cliffs in the county of Bergen in the state of New Jersey authorizing the dismissal of all charges as to Officer Scott Muir. Uh, motion? A motion. Second. Council Persons Aversa? So let me repeat it. Uh, and 162? 162 is no. Okay. So on all the resolutions, I'm just going to read the ones that are not a yes. 159, no. 162, no. And 161, abstain. Correct. Okay. Council Persons Leanne? Yes to all. Oh? Yes to 155, 156, 157, 158, no to 159, yes to 160, recuse on 161, and no to 162. Oh. Okay, McMorrow? Yes to 155, yes to 156, yes to 158, yes to 159, yes to 160, yes to 161, abstain on 161. Okay. Park? Yes to all. Gonzalvo? Yes to all. Yes to all. Yes to all. Yes to all. An abstention is an abstention. So as to as to one sixty two, I vote yes. You don't need to vote. Okay. Okay. Abstention is a non vote. All right, so we're good. Yeah, so they all, they all pass. The tax appeals pass. Right? Yes. yes, everything yes. passed. Mayor, we need to do the uh, ordinances, and I will need a public hearing date so if we can uh, get that first. Okay. Right. So we have we have two ordinances that are uh, being introduced by title only. The mayor and council has to determine a date for a special meeting. Special meeting has to be. Uh, seven days after publication, um, and the earliest we could do it is December 
27th, and the latest we could do it is December 31st. So we need a consensus as to when everyone is available, please, for the adoption of the two ordinances that will be uh, introduced tonight. The 29th or the 30th work for me. I don't have my calendar. <laughs> but we have to decide it today. How about Thursday the 29th at 10.30 a.m.? Uh, which is the 30th? 29th? 29th is the 30th. It's the Thursday. The Thursday. 29th. What time? 10.30. What time? 10.30 morning? 10.30. Yeah, I have an afternoon appointment. Is the governing body available on Thursday, December 29th at 10.30 for the public hearing? Yeah, I don't think 10.30. I'm sorry, I'm taking 10.30 is the middle of the morning. Is it better? I have a noon. How about one? I have a one o'clock myself. Let's do noon. Is everyone available at noon? Is everyone available at noon? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I have a patient. I actually work for the. You never know. I have. I have. Is it Friday? I think it's Friday. No, Friday. Friday. No. Can we do it? And can we do 11:30 or? It, it, you know, the middle of the day like that. I'm not the math. You know, it's not going to help me. So. Can we do first thing in the morning? Yeah, first thing in the morning might work. Eight o'clock. Why don't we do eight o'clock? Okay. I can't get here. No, thank you. Come in the morning. I already. I would be sitting in traffic for two hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so let's, let's keep it at we have, a, we have four of that candidate. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Right, thank you, everyone. So, so 10 30. 10 30. Okay. Uh, on, the, on the 29th? 29th. Sorry, on the 29th. Yeah. All right. So the first ordinance, uh, introduction by title, with a public hearing on December 29th, 10.30. Will the meeting be here or at Borough Hall? Here. Okay. At 10 Con Terrace. Ordinance 11, an ordinance amending the code of the Borough of Inglewood Cliffs, section 2-13, entitled Police Department to add section 2-13.8, entitled Hiring Policies and Procedures. We need a motion and a second. So I move. Second. Can we have a discussion on that? It's just introduction by title. Just introduction. Can we discuss? No, we don't get any other time to discuss if you want. It might not be a bad time to discuss. No. You usually, usually do the discussion. You do it the day when at the time of the open, of the public hearing. We'll do it on the 29th. Okay. If the public will have comment and and we can comment as well. So not today. Not today. Is what you're saying. That's what we're saying. Ordinarily, when you introduce by title, there is no discussion. Ordinarily. That doesn't mean that That's, you can't. Well, I, that would be up to... I, I think it's more efficient if we do it on the 29th with everybody having to say anything coming. All right. Um, I'll take a roll call. Mm -hmm. Councilperson Zaversa? No. Liang? Yes. I'm sorry. Um, it's okay. Oh? No. McMorrow? Yes. Park? Yes. Consavo? Yes. It passes, Mayor. Thank you. Okay. Now, the second one is ordinance number 12 with a public hearing on December 29th at 10.30 a.m. at 10 Con Terrace. 12. An ordinance amending the code of the Borough of Inglewood Cliffs, Chapter 2, Administration, Section 2-18, Borough Administrator, Subsection 2-18.4, General Duties. We need a motion and a second, please. Motion. Second. Council Persons Aversa. No. Liang. Yes. Oh. No. McMorrow. Yes. Park. Yes. Consavo. Yes. Okay. Passes. Passes. All right. Thank you, everyone. Um, 
Let's do the committee reports next. And I have a uh, if I may, yeah. point of order, uh, to make a motion to advertise for a uh, full-time recreation director. Okay. Second, on that. Second. second on that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, it, Who's, we'll who seconds it? Roll call. All right, done. Yeah. Okay. Council persons aversa. No. Liang. Yes. Oh. Yes. McMorrow. Yes. Park. Yes. Gonzalo. Yes. It passes. Okay. So the next part of our agenda is usually the most exciting part. It's the committee reports. Um, but, but today is special, actually, because uh, this is the de December meeting. It's the last regular meeting uh, for two of our council people, uh, Zee Liang and Nunzio Consalvo. I want to thank them for their service to the borough. Uh, I, I hope everybody else gets thanked as well. Been wonderful working with them both, and uh, so we're we're actually teeing this up for real good committee reports from both of you. <laughs> so, um, Councilman Aversa, please state your committee and your report. Uh, lighting, uh, so far so good. Just like to thank uh, Councilman Lee and Councilman Zabo for giving their time for the past three years. Um, I wish you luck having the time in uh, Mexico. Happy <laughs> birthday! Thank um, you. Uh, thank you. Um, I have transportation, uh, nothing to report this month. Uh, I'd like to also thank uh, Councilman uh, Lynn and uh, Councilman Gonzalo. Uh, thank you for your time. I know it could be very tough and, uh, you know, uh, taking a lot of time away from your family. Um, and sometimes mm -hmm. it could be a thankless job. So thank you very much for your uh, time on Council. and. Uh, uh, it was nice working with you both. Thank you. That's very nice. Uh, Councilman Liang, did you have a report? Well, that's my last report. <laughs> <laughs> After three years, so quick. I still remember 2013, 2014. When our son was little, so we come over here, not a big boy. Um, DPW, wonderful. Thanks again. Thank you, Councilman. Wonderful work. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Nice. The, the leaves are all gone. Thank you. <laughs> Councilwoman McMorrow. Um, okay. Uh, quick question. We were going to discuss this during caucus. Um, I'm just going to do the 5K right now. Um, the 5K committee met uh, after the November meeting, and um, there were many. It was a great meeting. We had. Um, a lot, of recommend, a, lot, a lot of recommendations to to improve uh, on the event, which was really a successful event. We, we all know that everybody had a lot of fun, and we're already planning for 2017. So what I wanted to uh, ask the council, and I had planned on asking this during um, caucus, there were two dates. Uh, the the, rec the um, 5K committee preferred if we could find a date in September. Even though it did work in October, <laughs> the weather, the wind was really bad that day and one of the, the blocks was suffering from it a little bit. So we were hoping we could find a date in September. They gave me a tentative date to ask the council as their first choice. If everyone could just take a look at their calendar and let me know what their thought is. It's September 17th. Um, if I Council members, if you could, well, the, the ones that are here are not looking, yeah, <laughs> please, <fine>. what? <laughs> I just need directions so I can go back and report back to the committee. <laughs> Anything wrong with that date? Right. I don't carry my calendar with me. I'm what am I find out? Okay. okay. All right. So if, if, um, if there is an issue with it, if you could let the clerk know and then, because um, we, we, we need to start um, training. <laughs> no, no. But we, we need to start that um, already. And what the committee wants to do is this year we invested in one start finish line. And um, because of our success and the money that we did raise, uh, which is in a trust account at this point, we would like to um, buy a second one so that 
we now we don't own them both, and we don't have to rent and, and throw that money away. So um, we just want to get that date confirmed. Um, presently uh, working with um, with Paul for basketball, and um, as you saw, I made a recommendation for a full-time recreation director. Um, this year has been um, a great year working on, on recreation and, and community events. Um, the, the successes and, and, and successes by everyone working together as a group was was really um, something that uh, I never thought that I would even see in, in the position of uh, being recreation uh, uh, liaison. We had an outpouring from the residents, um, turnouts that no one has ever seen in this town before. And what, what it showed us, and, and um, myself and Paul Duffy, was that the residents in the town, that they, they want these services. They're, they're hungry for more. And I keep being approached by by not, not just parents of, of, of children, it's, it's residents of all ages, whether they're seniors or they're without kids, with kids, people love the activities and they, and, and they want more. And you know what, We're, we have a great town um, and we, uh, given those successes, we, we would like to have um, a recreation director slash community event full time to grow the community events and the, um, the recreation activities to be able to uh, offer not just to the, um, to the parents, but children, but to offer to residents of all ages. Um, you know, we have a we have a great um, over 55 group, I'll say, um, and that we would like to uh, assist in, in, in growing and, and offering more and, and getting more people to join. So we just, we just want to help the town grow, and um, I appreciate the members on the council that are supporting this, and I think the residents are going to be very happy um, once, uh, you know, we get this all started. So that, that's for recreation. Um, can, I, can I just add one thing? Uh, Paul Duffy would continue uh, in the rec department as an assistant rec director. Yes, so he's in, full we, we've, he's in this, completely uh, supportive he's of it. Very, very happy. I heard he likes soccer. Yeah, you might have heard that also. He's probably going to run the soccer yeah. program. That'll be his, but he, his know, program. We're, we're, we're very excited. Paul's excited. There's just so much more that we can do, and we're happy um, for the support. Uh, we have a meeting um, today with uh, members of the police department, uh, Rosette, the IT uh, head, and um, I don't know what the part of Michael Straga is. is he, he's IT also. He's our, our phone right. contact, so our phone know, guy. We're, we're, we're uh, addressing certain issues uh, having to do with um, different IT, you know, IT needs. And um, speaking of IT needs, I know Lizette also worked on getting a camera installed in our council room. It's right there. I don't know. Is it on tonight? Yes, um, please. It so it's on. Wait. It's on the side. It's in a, we're testing it tonight. We don't know how it's going to work. Uh, but I, that's, it's a great idea, and I hope it works. So we're going to look at the angle if it needs to be changed or not. And then we'll be able to, like other towns, put that directly online so that you can view all the meetings and everything that's being said. Um, and thank you, Lizette. I know we may be tweaking the location a little bit, but uh, it's a start, and, and, I, and I thank you. So everybody else may be able to leave their cameras home. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, so that's, that's... We'll have a live uh, feed. And I think that that's uh, the 5K one. Okay. I'll do, I have something on new business, Mayor. All right. I'll do later. Thank okay. you very much. All right. Councilman Park? Oh, yes. So like, okay. The, the appointment to the Recreation Advisory Board. We'll do that now or later? I'll do it later. Later. Okay. Uh, planning board uh, no new application, new EPGs. Uh, but, uh, you know, I really thank you to Liang Z, uh, Mr. Z, because my youth was the only time you can do that. Uh, because, uh, you know, he teach me a lot. And then he always advise me. I just follow his advice. But unfortunately, he's leaving too soon. Hopefully, he continues over for our town. He's as a middleman and he's very generous. Maybe both parties like him. So I think his role was very great. And then also, Mr. Ninja Conserva. I really 
really you know, appreciate your support and you teach me also a lot and hopefully you get the better healthy and uh, enjoy your, you know, your personal time and uh, you know, uh, congratulations on your happy birthday today. Thank okay, you. thank you. I just, I'm sorry, I forgot, I forgot to say thank you to okay, Councilman Liang and Councilman Consalvo. Happy birthday. Thank you're you. you're going to be missed. It was lovely working with you and uh, um, really appreciate everything you've done for this town. Uh, you know, it's been a lot. And I think, thank you. Welcome. Look forward to working with the two of you. A couple of more weeks, you'll be sworn in and you'll be sitting up here and we look forward to working together and being productive. Sorry, happy birthday. Thank you. Okay, Councilman Consalvo. Okay. <clears throat> First, I want to thank uh, everyone that voted for me in Angle Cliffs. I take great pride working with Mayor Kranchak and the council members. I know they will do a great job. Their good work will follow Angle Cliffs to a greater, greater height. Thank you for working three years here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, I do need a motion to go out to bid for shade tree and pruning in 2017. Oh, I'll yeah. Make that motion. Thank you. Uh, okay. can, just one second. Uh, was that Aversa? Yeah. Okay. Council persons Aversa? <coughs> yes. yes. Liang? Yes. Bo? Yes. McMorrow? Yes. Park? Yes. Constable? Yes. Okay. Um, and I want to thank both Councilman uh, Liang and Nunzio. It's been, for me, it's been a wonderful three years. We've had many great conversations, uh, political conversations about Cuba, which we enjoyed, <laughs> and with Nunzio on the birth of his uh, grandson and his uh, newly acquired cat. I, I appreciate all the conversations we had in our office, so thank you. It's been a pleasure, and I look forward to seeing you around town. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Is there any old business? Uh, we have one thing, actually. Discussion on police hiring that calls? Was, no, that was done. That. Okay. Uh, any new business? Yes, thank um, Two things. I need to make a motion to appoint... Uh, I'm sorry. Given the retirement, sorry, not retirement. Given the um, uh, winning of councilman elect rule, uh, he needs to step down off the recreation advisory board. Right. That will create a vacancy. Um, uh, so I'm making a motion to appoint George Lee to take the place of. Okay. More importantly, will that slow down your 5K time? Because I can't catch you. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, I'm making a motion to appoint George Lee to the Recreation Advisory Board. Okay. Do you have a second? Second. Yeah, is that all for or all in favor? No, I can be all in favor. All in favor? Right. Okay, good. And the, the only other thing there, I had a resident contact me. I was going to bring this up in caucus, but I didn't. If we can ask the, the uh, clerk to send the information over to the police department, if they could. Uh, I received a, an email, a, email uh, a phone message. The property, and I may not, might not be able to do this, but the property where the post office is, you know, um, right. well, you don't know. Where the post office is. Right. We, it, there's two entrances. So the resident asked me the question, is it allowed that you can make one and in and one and out? I don't know the answer, so we'll refer it to the police department and have them look at it. And I told them that I, they asked me to bring it up at the council meeting. I said I would bring it up the caucus, but okay. we went over time. I happen to think that that's a really good idea if you could, because there's always people turning well, out I think of both. That part of it is private property, right? Part of it is so that's why I said I don't know. That's a police I don't know. Right, I don't we'll know. Okay, so is the answer no? no? I don't know. We'll, go, we'll look into it. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Okay, anything else for new business? Um, I have something that I'd like to... Uh, yeah, sure. So um, I'd like to request that when we uh, meet for our special meeting on uh, the 29th, that if we could talk about uh, the RFQs 
and the committee assignment for next year. Uh, because last year, we didn't really get to find out who uh, we were appointing until the day of the meeting, but I'd like to have that discussion before the meeting. I will consider that. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. So uh, the signed die meeting is mm -hmm. one? The signed die and the reorganization meeting is scheduled for uh, January 1st at 2 p.m. And everyone has confirmed availability, and the council elect have confirmed how many seats they need for their families. Okay, good. I know, I know, yeah. Great. Um, okay, so we're, we're not going to actually adjourn tonight because we have to continue this meeting uh, to the signed die. And so what we'll do is recess. And you were going to say something. And I was going to say something. Oh, yes. Part of what we're doing is um, the the positions of borough clerk and there was uh, the ordinance that's pending here. Borough clerk and borough administrator are combined in this borough, and they're really two full-time jobs. And uh, you know, Lizette's here till nine, ten o'clock at night. You could drive by Hudson Terrace, you see the light on in her office. Uh, so what we're what we're in the process of doing is uh, Lizette will become the uh, full-time borough clerk. Uh, and acting a borough administrator until we hire a full-time administrator and um, I will at that time re reappoint Lizette to borough clerk position okay just so you leave here with clarity thank you thank you for the thank you for graciously doing that okay uh, do I need a motion to recess yes. no Yes. No. Yes. No. 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 Okay. No. Okay. So we're just going to continue. We'll see you all on January 1st. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're not going to. Motion.